Guys, this morning we have the very first renders from a very reliable source of one of the most anticipated new phones of 2023, the sequel to Nothing's very first phone, the Nothing Phone 1. Of course, that being the Nothing Phone 2. Now, these leaks do come from the website SmartPre, but not just from SmartPre. They are via OnLeaks, who has an incredibly good track record. I'm going to drop a link to this full article in the description down below so that you can go see these very high-resolution renders yourself on your very own computer and not just through this YouTube. And you should also go click on that link to give them a hit because, of course, they did the report and therefore they deserve that click more than anyone. So let's take a look at that article now. Exclusive. Nothing Phone 2 first look. Get a sneak peek at Carl Pay's highly anticipated Nothing Phone 2. Of course, Carl Pay, one of the original founders, if I'm not mistaken, of the phone brand OnePlus. They have since left OnePlus and started Nothing, where they have released a couple of sets of wireless earbuds as well as the Nothing Phone 1, which has an aesthetic that you can see on screen here. This sort of transparent aesthetic with lights inlaid, so forth and so on. A very, very unique looking device. And of course, the user interface also has some very unique touches to it as well. Now, if you're looking at this image and you're familiar with the Nothing Phone 1, you may be thinking to yourself, oh, this must be an image of the Nothing Phone 1 set to be a comparison to the Phone 2. But now, in fact, if you look very closely, this is apparently what the Nothing Phone 2 is going to look like. There are some very subtle changes being made to the back of this device. What I've done here is I've taken the Nothing Phone 1 and the Nothing Phone 2 render and I've put them side by side so that we can kind of zoom in and see where these subtle changes have occurred. The first one that my eye was drawn to was with this little red LED indicator. So just so you can remember, the new phone is on the right. You can see the watermark down there from OnLeaks and SmartPre. That's a good way to differentiate the two. Let's zoom in a little bit though. So with the Nothing Phone 1, you had this little red LED indicator that would be on if you were, say, filming or something so that someone that you were filming could see that you were filming them. With the Nothing Phone 2, that has changed to a red line rather than a red dot. Again, this is a very, very subtle change. And I think, I'm not going to go over all of these, but you can see many, many subtle changes that are happening here. Let's look at the camera module. It looks like we've gone from one flash to potentially two LED flashes there as well. We've also gotten rid of a lot of the screws, right? There's a visible screw there that is not visible on the Nothing Phone 2. And as you go around, there's another one, another one, another one. I believe those are screws. And they seem to be much more disguised or hidden on the Nothing Phone 2. Now, we're maintaining the Nothing logo down here, but it is changing in size and style a little bit. But a lot of this down here looks mostly the same. Just again, a few subtle tweaks have been made. And then, of course, the giant Qi charging pad is still there in both of them although this one has this little notch looks almost like an orange there in the middle whereas this one is simply all round now i don't think it's a very controversial statement to make based on this to say that this does appear to be a fairly iterative update from nothing phone one to phone two however the article does go on to mention the fact that everything seems to be a bit curved the edges apparently are curved the back is curved and apparently the front, this may make people a little bit upset depending on how curved it is, but apparently it is a curved screen as well. Now, hopefully this is to a very minor degree. I think a lot of people liked how flat the Nothing Phone was. I think adding a little bit of curve can make it er more ergonomic into your hand, but it can also, if you go too far, cause some problems that we've seen in other curved devices, in particular curved display devices. So hopefully, like I said, this is fairly minimal. Now, even though the exterior, the appearance seems to be fairly iterative, the internals have gotten a, what I would call a more significant upgrade. So with the Nothing Phone 1, it was running a mid-range processor, the Snapdragon 778G. Now with the Nothing Phone 2, we're going to be jumping all the way up to a flagship processor. Granted, it is a flagship processor that is not brand new. We're not using the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Instead, they're opting to go with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Now, you've seen this processor in devices like the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and other flagship devices. So rather than going 
full bore to the newest possible thing. They're kind of doing a half step. So it's not like using a mid-range chip. So instead they're just using a slightly older flagship chip, which probably allows them to keep the price down while improving their performance a fairly significant amount. I actually think this is an intelligent decision. The 8 Plus Gen 1 is also fairly efficient, so battery life shouldn't be negatively impacted too greatly either. Now, in addition to those changes to the system on a chip, nothing has actually already announced a couple of other changes coming, and they are fairly important. So the first one is that the battery is going to be going from a 4,500 milliamp hour battery to a 4,700 milliamp hour battery. And this is important because they're also increasing the screen size from 6.55 inches to 6.7 inches bigger screen you're going to need a bigger battery to power it now maybe the most important thing about the nothing phone 2 is something that carl pay actually talked about in a recent interview the nothing phone 2 is going to be coming to the united states he actually said that the u.s was their number one priority in terms of markets last time they focused on asia and europe this time they're flipping the script and making sure that everybody here in the United States can get the Nothing Phone 2 very, very easily. Now, in terms of pricing, all we can do at the moment is speculate. From everything I have seen, somewhere around the $499 mark might be a reasonable place to be, but Carl Pay has also said the Nothing Phone 2 will be more premium than the Nothing Phone 1, so we might actually see a jump in price similar to what tended to happen with OnePlus devices. They started off very cheap and built out that foundation of super fans and then slowly raised that price with each iteration until they were making full-fledged, full-priced flagship devices. Is that what Carl Pay plans on doing with the Nothing Phone line? That does remain to be seen. Guys, if you want more content just like this, subscribe before you go. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.